Cryptocurrencies promise a lot, but they don't always deliver. Think about money. Money has value because it has users. We use it as money. Without users, it would simply be a worthless token. And that's true whether it's a piece of paper with a face on it or a digital token. And the more other people accept money as money, the more I want to use it. So in that respect, the motto would be, the more, the merrier. But today's cryptocurrencies don't necessarily work like that. Well, take Bitcoin. The system works by bringing together two groups. On the one hand are the users who make and receive payments, and on the other are the so-called miners who record the transactions in the ledger. Now the two groups depend on each other because the users need the miners to record the transactions, but the miners also get paid for doing their job. And because the miners can pick and choose which transactions to process, the more you offer to pay the miners, the more likely it is that your transaction will be included in the ledger. Well, fees can rise a lot during peak times. Uh, at one point last December, fees reached $57 per transaction. So just imagine, if you bought a $2 coffee with Bitcoin, you would have had to pay $57 to make that uh, transaction go through. So when there's congestion, rather than having the more the merrier, we have to turn the motto on its head. The motto should be now, the more the sorrier. Now this kind of thing happens because some people hold Bitcoin not as money, but as assets, which is to say you pay to hold them rather than to use them as money. And crypto kitties are a good example of this, and they're just like um, Beanie Babies, baseball cards, and Tamagotchi. Well, the obvious solution seems like um, we should increase the capacity, but there's a catch there too, because if you in increase the capacity to the extent that it becomes costless to use the system, this will drive away the miners because there's no fees being paid which will be collected by the miners. So think of a road. If it's too narrow, there'll be congestion. But if it's too wide and there's no congestion whatsoever, then there's no one to maintain the road. And then you will see weeds pushing up through the surface. This is another respect in which uh, cryptocurrencies do not conform to some of the basic economics of money. And we discuss other examples in the chapter.